All right, so it's finally arrived and I hope this is gonna be worth it. And now it's time to build a PC. So let's start with just unboxing this stuff and see what's inside. All right, there we go. That's the case for the PC. Now let's pick out the rest of the parts. All right, next we have this little box. And in here we have the Western Digital 10 terabyte hard drive. So here we have the AMD Ryzen 3900X. We also have a Samsung 1 terabyte SSD. Trident's DDR4. We also have Corsair's uh, power supply, RM750X. As you might be able to tell by now, I have very little knowledge of what all of these things are, but I was told that this would be pretty good. And an MSI AMD motherboard. And lastly, we have a ROG Strix gaming graphics card. that's all that we have and now I guess it's just time to basically build this thing and I have no idea I've never done this before so I'm gonna need some help so I'll be doing that tomorrow and also this video is sponsored by kite kite is an auto completion engine for Python that uses machine learning to provide the completions it integrates with tons of different text editors like Atom, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim and PyCharm it has a few really cool features the first one being ranked completions kite's completions are sorted by relevance instead of popularity or alphabet or something like that and like I said before they use machine learning to provide the completions which is how they're able to come up with better suggestions than any other system that I've used. And the second feature is line of code completions, which means that it's able to complete full lines of code for you. Third feature is called intelligent snippets. Using their machine learning, they're able to suggest placeholder values for whenever you're calling different functions. Lastly, we have Copilot, which means you no longer need to Google Python documentation because Copilot lets you see the documentation right within your text editor or IDE. So I definitely think that you should download this and give it a go. There will be a link in the description. All right, so this is day two and now we're about to build this thing. I'm just waiting for my friend to come and essentially help me build this thing because I wouldn't be able to put it together myself. But yeah, now we're gonna build it. So now we are about halfway done and the motherboard has been attached to the chassis. And the next step will be to attach the cables from the power supply. Now we're going to start it up and see if it runs. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of okay. So now it runs.
up and running. And we can see that everything seems to be running as expected. All right, so now we're done and it's 7.23 p.m. right now. And that means that we've been doing this for about, about it, pretty much exactly seven hours. Uh, so it was a bit longer of a build than I thought it was gonna be. I, I haven't done this before, so I don't really know anything. That's why I needed some help from my friend. And one of the things that we missed when we started the computer was that we tried to plug in the M2 SSD into a NVMe port. I think, I'm not quite sure, but it's not compatible with that. So we had to switch that out and then it detected the SSD after that because when we started it up, it didn't detect an SSD at all. Um, but now it does and now it works. We got pretty much everything working here. We have 10 terabytes of storage, which is really good for me since I do a lot of like editing and YouTube stuff. I need a little bit of storage. 10 terabytes is okay. I can update that and like add a lot more because there's it's pretty much not even filled up even closely to how much it can be in here so we can add a lot more things in here probably a couple fans as well because right now we just have one and we have tons of space for more fans as well so i guess that's just going to be something that i'll update in the future once i kind of try this out and see how it works and try to figure out how to configure it to my liking if that makes sense but yeah, this is the computer that we got. And now we have Windows running, uh, which means that I'll need to get back into Windows and try to figure out all the fun things that you kind of need to do if you're a computer or if you're a programmer, I mean. Uh, like figuring out a way to get some sort of terminal uh, app going on here. Not super difficult or anything like that, just trying to find something that I like. So that's going to be a little bit of fun to try to delve into that and also just to try this out to see how much faster this would be than my MacBook Pro which I usually have been using before. But yeah, I'm excited to try this out and compare it with my MacBook Pro because I have the 2018 MacBook Pro right now and that's what I've been using for the last like year and a half, something like that. And that has the classic problem of overheating which is been doing for a while now and it also like shuts off randomly uh, which has been not that much fun so it's gonna be exciting to try something like this and see how much of a big difference it will make it should make a pretty big difference so I'm really excited to kind of get to that and start working on it all right so it's now a week later and I'm super happy with this machine I've tried doing a couple tests in Adobe Premiere and like rendering a video and comparing that to my old machine, this MacBook Pro. And it renders in like about a third of the time, so it's a lot faster, this new one. And that means that I can retire this old uh, 2018 overheating uh, piece of whatever MacBook Pro that I've had. Uh, I'll probably still use it if I go on trips and things like that if I want to have to be able to code or like edit videos on the road then I'll be using this machine still but for anything where I will be at home I'll be using this and pretty much anytime I have to do anything on the computer I'll be trying to use this machine because it's just gonna be way better and way faster uh, and I'm really excited about it. So if you want to try to build this exact same PC that I've built or use any of the parts that I've built or you want to find out what parts I used, there'll be links to everything that I've used in the description. And if you buy something through one of those links, I will get a small commission and that will kind of help out this channel and help me out. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.